When you're lifting your Jeep and you stick bigger tires underneath your fenders, you're gonna lose some acceleration, performance, and fuel economy. Regearing will regain those numbers lost, making you more comfortable and tolerable riding your JK. This ring and pinion combo that I have here by Yukon Gear will be a 488 gear ratio for the 07 to 18 non Rubicon owner looking for a front and a rear ring and pinion kit. Because the Rubicon and the non Rubicon have different size differentials, the kits do differ, so make sure you get the right one for your JK. The non Rubicons will have a Dana 30 in the front and a Dana 44 in the back, and this kit has gear sized specifically for those differentials. I would like to mention in your front differential, your stock gear size will matter. If you currently have a 321 from the factory, you need to upgrade your carrier in order to fit the larger ring gear. If you have a 373 gear ratio or numerically higher currently, your carrier from the factory will be able to hold the larger ring gear. Also, choosing the right gear ratio will definitely depend on your gear, transmission, and tire size. You can find tools and charts on our site in our learning center, and the charts will be underneath our drivetrain section for when and why you should re-gear your Wrangler. I would also like to mention that this will be a three out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, and unless you are a professional, I would definitely take your Jeep to a trusted shop for installation. Yukon is a very well-known brand for their gears and axles, and it's proven in the construction of these gears. They're manufactured with designs to handle high torque in very stressful situations, obviously an important requirement since they're one of the main components of your driveline. A lot of times you can get new gears and after a little bit of wear they can start to whine, but Yukon has designed these to be their quietest gears yet, as well as being super smooth. This 488 gear kit will come with just the ring and pinion gear for both the front Dana 30 and the rear Dana 44. I would like to mention that this will not come with any of the hardware required to install them. We do offer minor install kits with shim kits and basic bearings, as well as master overhaul kits with all of the bearings, gaskets, and seals. I usually always recommend a master overhaul kit because when you're already inside your differential, it's always a good time to maintenance and replace those parts. However, if you have a few miles on your JK or it's brand new, a minor install kit will just do the trip. Like I mentioned before, you will need a carrier that will accommodate a ring gear that is 373 or numerically higher. If you have 321s, you need a new open differential carrier, or you can take this opportunity to upgrade your front carrier to a locker. You'll only need to do this for the front Dana 30 because the rear carrier in the larger Dana 44 will be able to accommodate the larger ring gear. I did mention before that the gear ratio will depend on what trans, engine, and tires you have, as well as the performance that you're looking to achieve. The charts will show you what range you want to be in, whether it be the minimum ratio allowed for your setup with okay performance and mild trail use, a good daily driving gear with full-time overdrive and moderate trail use, or a gear set that is still a fair daily driver but will have a higher performance and torque for rock crawling in higher elevations. As long as you know what tire size you have currently or what tire size you're looking to run, the conversion will be very easy to figure out what gears are right for you and your JK. The price on these gears is pretty fair since this is usually a higher price modification, right around $485 at the moment. In the 488 category, this will be your most expensive option for a kit with just the ring and pinion gears. Other brands like Alloy USA and G2 will be about $80 cheaper. However, like I mentioned, Yukon is a very well-known brand for their quality. Now, with all of these kits, you will have to keep in mind that you will need an install kit for the front as well as the back differential. So that will jump the price up depending on what kit you need between a master overhaul kit or a minor install kit. We do have those options underneath our install kit sections on the ring and pinion page, but do keep in mind that all of those kits will differ depending on what year you have as well as if you are a Rubicon or a non-Rubicon owner. If you didn't want the hassle of going through all of those kits and wanted a one-stop shop, we do have options on the page for 488 gears with included master overhaul kits. Overall, if you didn't mind paying a couple extra dollars for a brand you can trust with quality components, Yukon has you covered. Install will be a 3 out of 3 wrenches on the difficulty meter and I highly recommend going to professional to have your gears installed properly. Installing gears is very in-depth and having the right gear tolerances is crucial to have them last a long time. Installing them improperly can lead to faster wear, so I would definitely take it to a Jeep shop that you trust. 
To give you a little bit of insight into what goes into installing these, you'll need to drain the diff, remove the diff cover and the axle so you can get to the carrier. Once you remove the carrier, then you can get to the nitty gritty. There's honestly a lot of numbers involved with gear tolerances, including measuring your backlash, pinion depth, and carrier and pinion bearing preload. Backlash is the clearance between the gear teeth that let the gears mesh without binding and provide space to lubricate the gears with oil preventing tooth damage or overheating from friction. Measuring pinion depth is also very important and it's how far the pinion gear extends inside the differential to help create a good backlash. And lastly, your preload on your bearings is also very essential, which will maintain the correct amount of stress for the meshing of the gears to create accurate displacements of gear movement and increase your bearings rigidity overall, especially with being the force of your driveline. All of that measuring will take place with essentially trial and error, shimming the components and making sure that they are in tenths of each other. After everything is shimmed and put back into the differential housing, it's just a matter of putting those components that we took off in the beginning back on and filling up with the right amount of gear oil. So if you're looking to upgrade the performance in your JK, this 488 gear set by Yukon will be a great option to check out. This is Meredith with XT, and you can find these gears and everything else Wrangler right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.